Hey, hello everybody. Starfield just came out and there are already mods for it. I'm gonna show you how to mod your game. The first thing you wanna do is go to nexusmods.com. Make sure you sign up for an account with the website. Then under search, put in Vortex. Click on it, go to files, and we're gonna manually download this guy. Let's go ahead and install it. Now let's run the program. On the upper right hand corner, we're gonna sign into our account. It's gonna take you to the website and ask you to authorize. Now you can log into Vortex. Go to games and then we're gonna search for Starfield. Click on manage. Then we're gonna download an extension. If the game is not discovered, we're gonna need to set the root folder for it. If you have the Steam version, it's gonna be under program files x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, and then Starfield. Select the folder. Now we're gonna go back to the Nexus Bots website. There's a drop down menu under the search bar. Go to games and then search for Starfield and click on it. I recommend you bookmark it so that you can go back to it later. And on the very top here, you're gonna see hot mods. We're gonna click on more hot mods. The first mod we're gonna install is called Starfield Script Extender. So I'm gonna right click on it, open a new tab. If you've mod Skyrim before, you know what this is. This is going to allow other mods to add scripts to the game. For now, the extender only works on the Steam version of the game. Let's go ahead and manually download this guy. Right, let's extract it, open up the folder. Then we're going to copy the DLL and EXE files onto the root folder of Starfield. Now, anytime when you want to start the game, you're gonna have to load it from the loader. But to make things easier, we're gonna create a shortcut for our taskbar here. Right click and choose create shortcut. And let's rename this guy to Starfield. And let's change the icon to the Starfield icon here. Go to properties, click change icon. Then we're gonna browse to the root folder of the game. Select Starfield, click OK. Then drag it onto the taskbar. Now every time you want to start the game, you got to click on the shortcut on the taskbar. The next mod I'm going to show you how to install is a character preset. Unfortunately, we don't have anything like race menu or body mods like CBBE for the game right now. Maybe that'll come in the future, but we can still have character presets from the vanilla character creation. And let's install one of them right now. It's called Hannah. Let's go to files. We're going to download this guy manually. Let's open it up and you're going to see two folders, sliders and then a save file. In the sliders folder, you're going to see a whole bunch of screenshots and it's going to tell you which sliders to choose in game. However, that'll just take too long, right? So what we're going to do here is we're going to just extract the save file and then use that save file instead. We're going to extract it, open it up, we're going to go to save file and we're going to copy this guy to documents. My games, star fuel, and saves. So just drag it over. Now you notice that this is dated 9323. This is how we know what to choose in the game. Let's start up the game. Click on load. And we're going to choose the save file that's 9323. I'm going to load the game. And check this out. There's our character. Isn't that cool or what? The next mod we're going to download is going to be called Star UI Inventory. This is going to change the UI so that it's more friendly for the PC. If you go down to installation, you're going to see a link to Bethany. This mod is going to allow us to install loose files onto the game. Open up a new tab, go to files, we're going to download this bad boy. Let's extract this guy. Go to your root folder of the game. We're going to create a new folder and let's call it tools. Open it up and let's drag Bethany into it. Click on the exe file. We're going to choose Starfield. The any files is going to be stored under Documents, My Games, Starfield. Click OK. Here you're going to be able to change a whole bunch of settings. On the lower left corner, check the Low Loose Files box. Go to Files and we're going to save it. Click Yes to everything and let's quit out of it. Now let's go back to our Star UI inventory mod page. Go to Files and click on Mod Manager Download. If that doesn't work, Go to Vortex, Settings, and then go to Download. Make sure you toggle the Handle Mod Manager Download button. If you're using Chrome and you're having trouble, you may want to click the Fix Now button. And under Mods, you're going to see Star UI. Enable it, and let's start up the game. 
press I to access the inventory. And here it is. This is going to be the new UI. The next mod we're going to install is called Neutral Lights. No color filters. In the vanilla game, everything is so green and hard to see. This mod's going to get rid of that, so that's clear. Go to Files, download this guy manually, open up the mod. And this is the strange thing. Unlike Skyrim, textures are kept under Documents, My Games, Starfield, and you're going to see this data folder in there. And I don't know why Bethesda did this. It would be so much easier if everything is kept under the game's root folder, but that's not the case. We're going to drag the data folder onto here. Let's boot up the game. And look at this. Everything is so much clearer now. It's brighter and more vivid. The colors pop more. I really like it. And the last mod we're going to install is called Realistic Water. If you played Skyrim before, this is from the same Realistic Water 2 team. And since this is technically a texture mod, we're going to have to install this manually. Open up the mod. In the My Game Star Field folder, click on Data. And we're going to drag the texture folder onto here. Here's the new water. <laughs> Look at this. It looks a heck of a lot better than before. As I said before, the game just launched. So there's not a lot of mods out there. There's a lot of things that are still missing. But there are still some cool mods out there like I show you in the video that are worth installing. When the creation kit comes out, I think there's going to be some amazing mods coming. And I'll show you how to install them as they come out. So stay tuned to the channel. If you found this video to be helpful, give it a like, subscribe for more, and take care now.